Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, and welcome to Dev Talks for the second show of the Sunday weekend special Sunday evening where we are discussing is China a rogue nation? And I have with me left Com- Commander Sudhir Kandari. As before, sir, good evening and welcome to the show. Hi, good evening, Adi, and good good evening to all your viewers too. Uh, shall we start like? Ha, sir. Onto the subject. Okay. It, we are we are we are going from saying China is weak to China is this to China is that to straight China is rogue. <laughs> is and uh, we'll go about it and we'll come to know why they're a rogue state absolutely, for that. Reason. Absolutely. I'll just switch on your presentation so that we can head into the details. Yeah. Now let's look at it this way. Why we call China a rogue state? In the UN Charter, there is no word as such a rogue state. USA coined this term for Libya, Iran and Iraq way back in mid-80s to late 80s. And they dropped using this particular word, this term rogue state, somewhere in early 2000. And they again started using it. And now they use it for Countries like North Korea, Cuba, Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, and even now China is included. Russia and China. Mm. Russia and China are included. Now, uh, what makes China a rogue state? Uh, Allow me to digress a little bit from here. Now, there are three words like intent, commitment, Capability. China has committed to themselves and they have an intent to. They want to control Pacific Ocean, South China Sea, Indian Ocean, and they want to reach Atlantic Ocean too. Capability, we had been discussing in many programs. Economically, they are not sound as they keep projecting themselves. Military, if you really ask me, it's a hoax. I won't shy away from saying this word hoax because for the simple reason, a country which can, it's more of a propaganda for their domestic consumption. Their Baidu navigation, uh, satellite navigation system, if you ask any hydrographer or any land surveyor, he will tell you what they're claiming is not, not, possible at all mathematically or by any chapter of the geodesy. Claiming accuracy of less than 3 centimeters, good enough on their land where they can apply the corrections. So I'm, I'm not going to get, uh, into details into, of that subject of uh, uh, satellite accuracy and the differential accuracy. If they can make issue such statements for their satellites, satellite what you call uh, accuracy, navigation system accuracy, you can well imagine all the propaganda they do with the military equipment. As General Shankar sir rightly said, 50% filter laga do unki chijo mein. Now coming back to the subject. Now they want to achieve this particular commitment they made themselves, made to themselves without any economic or military capability and that comes to them rogue tactics. Now what are the rogue rogue tactics they would use? Human rights violations have you seen in Hong Kong and Uyghur? Mass surveillance and suppression in their own, on their own mainland. These are called the rogue tactics basically. Uh, can you have slide number two, please? Now, smuggling goes over, goes on world over, but something is known as state-sponsored smuggling, laundering money, drug trafficking. Now, if you look at this diagram, it ex- extends from China to Mexico, Colombia, as a matter of fact, the entire Latin America. 
and somehow india by virtue of its geographical location is situated in the golden triangle of laos thailand and myanmar and manipur uh, i think couple of years ago they destroyed 18000 acres of opium uh, poppy fields cultivation that place is sensitive and then we have other side punjab also we'll come to that later so this is the golden triangle and up north upar hamare jo afghanistan hai that is known as golden crescent on the da tip in 2018 a fentanyl lab was busted in indore on the tip from da usa which ran for 10 years wow that's why i said we are in a very awkward situation in this triangle so oh, can we have slide number 3 please may i mention something here sir oh, sure please go ahead you know mexico you mentioned and you you in the bottom graph you've also shown mexico yeah interestingly sir the largest chinese setup for the mss which is a secret service yeah is in mexico mexico we we'll come to that later now look at this slide of oh, these are the officially declared labs and vendors in china for fentanyl <laughs> officially declared i'm not saying unofficial ones china happens to be the biggest exporter of precursor chemicals and fentanyl analogs because under pressure they provided fentanyl so fentanyl analogs the reason being for exporting fentanyl analogs is they do not require specialized toxicology toxicology screening तो भेज दो द रूट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्क्राइब नाउ देयर वर एक्चुअली टू रूट्स नदन रूट दैट इज अप फ्रॉम कजाकिस्तान एंड कजाकिस्तान फ्रॉम डाउन टू यूरोप दैट हैज बीन वेल चेकड एंड कंट्रोल्ड सो द अल्टरनेट इज द सदर्न रूट एज वी सीन इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड द सदर्न रूट इज फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान टू pakistan and pakistan to iran or you know india where punjab comes into play from there across the arabian sea to east coast of africa over the african mass of land from the west coast to latin america and up north to europe now let's say this why is china doing this i will give a quote over here healthy regional systems underpin healthy global systems when multiple re- multiple regions implode at once they can bring the global order crashing down europe the persian gulf and east asia collectively form the strategic core of the larger theater eurasia that has been the focal point of global politics in the modern era uh, if you refer to g20 also now hmm by sowing up evil within their region, regions the revisionists are shaking several pillars of the system at once basically weakening the country internally is their main target subversion hmm subversion this will cause implosions and destabilize number of countries all together as you can see their spread now when we talk of uh, intent commitment and capability china has actually if you really ask me has spread all over 
without any logistic proper logistics supply for economy and for military warfare unfortunately at the moment if you really look at it usa as a different location like middle east is always flammable russia ukraine war is going on south china sea taiwan perceived to be a problem if you really ask me china can only showcase their uh, military presence but they haven't got the means to really invade the, taiwan and uh, we'll not go into uh, those details that are different subject all together usa cannot pull out completely from middle east and come to taiwan or to russia ukraine they cannot pull out from russia ukraine or go to middle east or, or to uh, south china sea so everybody has got some limitations so the best way to do is create internal unrest and move in when the situation is conducive now if you look at it our neighbor pakistan they are in crisis country is bankrupt but still there are reports dollars are being smuggled to afghanistan अरे डॉलर्स कहां से आ रहे हैं यार कंट्री के पास तो पैसा नहीं है एंड व्हाट दे आर गेटिंग इन रिटर्न फॉर दोस डॉलर्स फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान ड्रग्स नाउ वेन आई से ड्रग्स एग्जैक्टली आई वॉन्ट टू पोज अंपल क्वेश्चन टू एवरीबडी can a army general who had been allotted a corner plot or some franchise of oh, what is that papa john general papa john general whoever he is can they make that much of money to own mansions malls properties in dubai uk usa canada अरे कंट्री में पैसा खाने को नहीं है तुम लिटल बिट ऑफ कमर्शलाइजेशन वॉट ऑफ फैक्ट्रीज दे हैव अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ आर्मी तुम बेचोगे किसको दैट एंटायर मनी इज द ड्रग मनी एंड चाइना इज यूजिंग दाइना इज ड्रॉप लाइक हॉट पोटेटो आई एम एफ एस पुट सो मच ऑफ कंडीशन बिफोर रिलीजिंग द लोन विच दे आर नॉट गिवन दम टेन लॉ एंड नॉट गिवन अ ग्रीन सिग्नल टू complete green, uh, green signal middle east saudi is again refusing china doesn't china doesn't want to give any loan to pakistan at the moment this is what happened for the last 70 years what they are doing people kept saying in 1980s pakistan has got color tv they have got this they have got imported cars they have got you know their economy is better than us petrol is cheaper than in pakistan that this is the condition of a country when the entire administration at the top is involved in such activities now if you look at it since the day india has started walking on the path of demo, uh, digit, uh, digital currency most of the payments are by paytm or upi government has put whole lot of restrictions that with so and so transaction you got to declare your aadhar card pan card everything is linked to aadhar and pan card money laundering from pakistan to india see the condition they are in now i will say there were there are three big powerful politicians two from bombay and one from madhya pradesh some channels are taking their are naming them openly they were the master mind for fake currency circulation in india abhi fake currency circulation fake currency is to come from pakistan abhi wo bhi gaya unke haath se to now you see look at the condition of pakistan now this is what happens when you play as a rogue player at the international level on the international level but the Let target was know. india target was india with subversion sir we subversion and look where they landed up that's why i said and you know general narayan sir word aaram se baitho jo ho raha dekho take a corrective action don't jump the gun 
absolutely now look at this thing now the best part now i will give i'll i'll be touching upon ng also but i'll I, i'll give one example over here imf is not giving money saudi is not giving money china is not giving money in walks what she who is he a finance banker and with some ngos when he knows very well whatever money i invest in pakistan i will not get it back why is he coming over there first of all i leave to the viewers viewers i'll not make any commitment or say anything which will put me up the creek so one can correlate connect the dots and come to the own conclusion there is enough in the open air yeah we all know that you know it's uh, you know uh, some ngos like their foreign funding has been cut off in india and all that we know we know about it and there are few people who make noise about it the uh, uh, democracy that is what do you want to do here sometimes you got to be autocratic you cannot be having a democratic democratic you know all the time a stretch democracy where you free to do anything you need to be autocratic at times true now i'll come to the hawala system the word we had been using hawala all the time on the tv adi there the one uh, one remark i want to make over here everybody talks of hawala tv channels so and so caught in hawala scam so and so caught in hawala scam as they ever try to tell public what route of hawala is followed how it is done nobody wants to talk about that because money connection is everywhere there are two channels who are fighting for using a catch line you know a nation wants to know one two channels are fighting on the on this particular subject poochta hai bharat tere bharat poochta to hai tum bata to do ki hawala hota kya hai kaise hota hai now hawala is basically if you look at it the dummy entities open dummy entities i would say run a retail business in india receiving bogus advances from shell entities and conducting transactions in hong kong and us dollars second is daigu d a i g o u i don't know how the chinese pronounce it daigu and china's underground banking system can we have slide 9 please dirty dealing china and international money laundering china is chinese involvement in money laundering has been growing china leads the world in illicit capital flows according to 2015 international narcotics control strategy report the bureau of international narcotics and law enforcement affairs of the us state department which monitors international money laundering the report not only states that china is a leading source of illegal money transfers but that it consist consistently fails to cooperate with other countries in resolving cross border money laundering laundering italian prosecutors are seeking to indict the bank of china for laundering billions of euros via branch of the bank in italy the bank and the government officials in china have refused to cooperate <laughs> but obviously so that's what i'm saying they are a proper rogue nation but they have not been officially you know the world is doing business for them for whatever reasons it might be can we go to the next slide please Chinese brokers laundering Mexican drug money. Chinese money brokers based in Mexico have come to dominate international money laundering markets. U.S. prosecutors said that, as you mentioned earlier, maximum MSMEs are there in Mexico. Now Chinese players are moving vast sums quickly and quietly. Their expertise routing cartel drug profits from the United States to China, then on to Mexico. with a few clicks of a burner phone and chinese banking apps chinese banking apps and without the bulky cash ever crossing borders the launderers pay small chinese owned businesses in the united states and mexico to help them move the funds most contact with the banking system happens in china 
a veritable black hole for US and Mexican authorities. Obviously, you can't go to China, and China hasn't got the extradition treaty with, uh, I think, most of the countries for that matter. Then move to the next slide, please. Now you look at this. Lebanese Canadian Bank. You look at the diagram. It becomes so, so difficult to find the starting point of the illegal money and the end point where the money is converted to legal transaction. Used cars. You know, I used to carry used cars like after discharging the fruit cargo in Europe, Europe or uh, USA. Return voyage used to be used cars for Africa or for Latin America. Because you can't come back empty in ballast voyage. You have to, you know, for revenue to be earned. Those used cars are actually, if you go to those hop, uh, ports, you see the dunk. They're actually dunk. And we used to carry with a gap of, you know, if you carry a new car, there would be a difference of almost one to, sorry, three feet at least. These cars used to be carried bumper to bumper without any fear of getting damaged and they'll be sold for $800 or $1,000 in those countries. Under voicing and over invoicing. And money will be settled somewhere else. That's how Chinese operate. Money is paid in uh, USC or UK. Yuans are paid in China. That yuan comes back to USC or UK uh, with uh, what you call TBML, trace, what, what you call it, trade-based trade, trade -based money laundering. It could be a student studying in UK or USA and he's getting the money for his tuition fee. Remission. That student is given a certain amount of money as a commission and he keeps getting the money in small, small amounts. You cannot even keep a check on those amounts. There will be one guy by the name uh, Jim Wong. There will be thousands of Jim Wong. The names are so common in China that there will be thousands of them born on the same date for that matter. The only way you can identify them is by the security number issued to them by the country, which UK or US or any bank world over will not ask for. They just go with a passport. And passport doesn't have a security number. You could open any number of accounts for that matter. How do you, how do you tra track that person? Uh, let's go to the next slide, please. Now, China's involvement in organized crime in Mexico. Over the last few years, China's presence in Mexico has been expanded in both legal and illegal activities. According to the prelim data, Trade between China and Mexico topped $100 billion in 2021, a new record. record. There was a reason why Trump wanted to build a wall. Build a wall over there. And people don't like him for that. Imports from China account for over 90% of total trade between China and Mexico. Excuse me. Chinese foreign direct investment in Mexico tallied 189 billion US dollars in 2020. But while legitimate commerce between Mexico and China is growing, Chinese groups are also becoming more involved in drug trafficking and money laundering in Mexico. True. In drug trafficking, Chinese brokers are the dominant suppliers of scheduled and non scheduled, unregulated precursor chemicals, which I mentioned earlier, are exported from China for the production of meth, fentanyl, and other synthetic opioids and previously also of Finnish fentanyl and its analogs. Mexican drug cartels then sell fentanyl and meth throughout North America and increasingly beyond. Chinese actor, actors also launder money for Mexican drug trafficking cartels. There's one guy, if you Google his name by the name, Mr. Z. Z. Lee. He was convicted around, I think, in 2017 or so for 15 years imprisonment. That man innovated new ideas of money transfer. Chinese want dollars. Mexican drug cartels, they don't want to have bulk, bulk of dollars transshipped across the border. 
So what this guy did, he employed basically the entire channel town. Waiters, taxi drivers, students, those who could not even speak English. Transactions would take place of any kind of currency notes, small denominations also, in the parking spaces, in restaurants, and the normal method adopted was the serial number on the currency note will be read out for verification, authentication code, and the money will be handed over. Moment that money is handed over, a message is sent to Mexico, and that much of pesos equivalent is given to that particular drug card. All clean. USA authorities took 15 years to catch. That too wow. by sending. Sending an undercover agent who kept giving him the money just to get to the root of the problem. They, they have this concept of undercover agents who is allowed to give that cash and that would be, you know, credit back to the treasury. But I don't know what system they have in India. I'm totally unaware of it, if you really ask. Or we have that kind of a surveillance system in India. Now, there's another thing known as, we spoke about under, underground banking. Now, there's something known as Daigo. Now, it's a type of personal shopping experience, but done across international borders. So, you have Chinese personal shoppers buying luxury goods in the European and US markets. They pay in local currency and under invoice sent to China, and there it is paid in the local currency at a profit. And the money paid in UK, US, again, as I mentioned earlier, the students are involved, uh, remittance of their tuition fee, and again, it becomes a trade-based money laundering. It's a full subject by itself. I'm not going to the detail, but just take it in that way. Trade-based money laundering is a way where you cannot catch a person because invoices are either under or over. Value, I'm talking of. Hmm. And as a matter of fact, even when the students come back, many accounts continue to operate. Because the uh, the Chinese agents have, agents have taken over. The criminal, what you call, uh, uh, Chinese criminal groups have taken over those accounts. Can I have slide 7 again, please? Yeah, now look at this slide. This is a typical of our Daigu system where the drug money is structured into the US accounts of a company. They've given an example like over here, you say company V in Colombia, how it goes to narcotics, drug trafficker. From there, it comes to various bank accounts and back in US and back to company in China. These things cannot be done without Chinese government and state banks being complicit in the operation. And they're doing it openly. China keeps saying that we're cracking down. You keep, uh, you know, reading the news in Chinese newspapers. South China Morning Post and Global Times cracked down in Hong Kong, cracked down in Macau, cracked down in China. That's but who knows actually? How can you verify that? First, secondly, ek pakad ke FATF ko dikha diya, no ko nahi pakad. Wo jo ek pakda gaya must be a, a small time operator or uh, must have gone on the wrong side of CPC. As a matter of fact, Z's cousin is the biggest money launderer in Europe and US. We all know that. And his brother-in-law, the kind of property he owns in Europe, in Europe, you know what it is like. Now, when I give an example of Z, Z Lee. Even Admiral Craig Fowler 
told Congress in 2000, I think 16 or 17, before this guy was apprehended, that Chinese launderers had emerged as the number one underwriter of drug trafficking in the Western Hemisphere. The Chinese government is at least tacitly supporting the laundering activity. He testified it before the Congress. Oh. And he's the person who led the U.S. Southern Command, which oversees military activity in Latin America. Many other guys from the DEA and uh, Homeland Security, they testified before the jury and the Congress. They did the homework and they apprehended this man. And as a matter of fact, this man, ZZ Lai, had a photograph with President Trump when he was the president. Can you beat it? Connected. Well, we don't know connected or not. Like he's such a was such an influential person. Big parties and all, big business like the, no. uh, you know, you call a person, uh, and then you have a photo and click with him. That kind that of happens. Yeah. That happens. That uh, you know, politicians, nobody's clean here. Let's be frank about it. They can't be a uh, smoke without fire. Can I have a slide ten, please? Underground banks have covered up crimes and some suspects have abetted criminals involved in terrorism and drug smuggling, severely threatening nation, national security, said by a Chinese near public security officer. A statement I would say made for the international audience without meaning a word of it. Uh, can I have the next slide, please? Yeah. This, I would say, is the most probable and the most simplest way of money laundering in India. I'm not saying this is the way, the most probable and the most easiest way, in my opinion. You have a government policy where Mr. A is the benefactor and there's a vendor, a beneficiary. Beneficiary on the profit from the government promulgated policy gives it back to him. Cash in kind or cash, whatever it might be, or some business interest. But that cash, you can't keep it at home hmm. or in the bank or in the locker. You'll be caught. It's normally kept as favors. Yeah. Now, other way, profit is diverted to drug, illegal arms or NGO as donation. That NGO may be run by Mr. A as a, who's a benefactor or by one of his friends or one of his relations. Again, NGO has expenses, overhead expenses, under or, or over invoice. Can you keep a check on uh, 100 cups of tea served for a particular seminar? It can be always over invoiced or under invoiced. And money can be always siphoned off somewhere else. Now, if this if this is drugs or illegal arms dealing, Afghanistan-Pakistan connection, as I said, the southern route comes in. Payment made in India. Drugs exported to EU and USA. The southern route I spoke of. Profit generated can be shown in casinos in US or Macau somewhere with some kind of a business you're doing. And in casinos, there's so much of transaction of the cash, you can't keep track of it. Yeah. 
with that profit generated you already made the money legal by showing it earning from the casino pay whatever tax is required buy a real real estate a benami property put it on rent again proceeds proceeds from that particular and transfer to ngo and ngo gives it to mr back to mr a benefit that is why people keep saying yaar it is useless there is no what you call uh, 0.5% conviction rate now obviously a country like us is a kind of surveillance system they have and the kind of uh, strict regulations they have they took 15 years to crack a case how do you expect or you to crack a case with every five year five year government changing and uh being under the influence of the politicians all the time so uh, can we go to the next chart or oh, next slide please now this is the data of uh, 2019 or 2020 uh, you can see for yourself you know pf is the proliferation financing which refers to the act of providing funds or financial services uh which are used in whole or in part for the manufacture acquisition possession development export transshipment brokering transport transfer stockpiling or use of nuclear chemical or biological weapons ah and 10.11 is pf financial sanctions where it is low this is the data from the imf and fats for china now if that this data is low they are going by the data china pro, uh, which is which is the chinese officials are providing them here it may be nil for all the for all that matter you know <laughs> tf terrorist financing substantial and after having so much of your discussed today you think terrorist finance fin uh, investigation financing investigation and prosecution is uh, really substantial it should it must be low anyways like let's go to the next slide now these are technical compliance compliance ratings you can see for yourself compliant and largely compliant and partially compliant and non compliant as of 2022 china still <coughs> is non compliant for five of technical uh, evaluations and not a nine partially compliant i i don't know why they are not in the gray list here <laughs> and the kind of you know, and the kind of killings that are taking place in pakistan and you know the as we spoke of the generals you know everybody involved in illegal trafficking and everything they have been removed from the gray list अरे ग्रेड लिस्ट से हटाएंगे नहीं तो रॉथ शील्ड और वो पैसा कहां से देंगे बिट ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स आल्सो आई लव पॉलिटिक्स एक लैपटॉप भी फंसा हुआ है ना सर बीच में एक लैपटॉप भी फंसा हुआ है बीच में कैन वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन और दिस इज interesting designated non financial business and professions include industries and professions outside of financial sector through which money laundry can occur you can see yourself non compliant and you know partially compliant yourself i rest my case over here where china stands this data is of 2019 2020 after the covid came i don't know under z what is happening in china hardly anything comes out of china but i want to make one point over here adi with the kind of surveillance system they have on each citizen in their country and the way they track money within their own country so that nothing should be used against the government for protest and civil unrest they have that fear that is why they keep a check on each and every financial transaction and surveillance of all the citizens how can we say that they are not aware of whatever is happening <laughs> can we go to the next slide please it is a continuation of the same 
गाइडेंस एंड फीडबैक पार्शली कंप्लाइंट सेंशन पार्शली कंप्लाइंट म्यूचुअल लीगल असिस्टेंस फ्रीजिंग कॉन्फिकेशन कॉन्फिकेशन पार्शली कंप्लाइंट तो बचा क्या गया बाकी तो लार्जली कैश करियर लार्जली कंप्लाइंट स्टैटिस्टिक्स लार्जली कंप्लाइंट तो स्टैटिस्टिक्स तो मैं भी बना लेगा घर बैठ के यार एक्सेल शीट Now, before we come to the end, I'll come to the Bitcoin part of it. I'll touch upon it briefly. We all know that Bitcoin today is one of the safest means on the dark web of illegal mm-hmm. transactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For mining one Bitcoin. Amount of electricity, power, energy required can light up a small country like Belgium or Switzerland. There comes the environmental factor, the global warming. <laughs> Some till three or four years back, China was maximum Bitcoin mining was from China. Seventy-five percent of the Bitcoin mining came from China. Because electricity is cheap, state subsidy. China put a ban on cryptocurrency, and they made a statement. We have exiled the word they used is the exiled everybody who was involved in, excuse me, Bitcoin mining or Bitcoin or cryptocurrency deal. Exiled the people that they were. Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, U.S. Pakistan. Pakistan anywhere, and now today almost eighty percent of the mining is from USA, where China is the city. I believe a lot of mining happens in Pakistan also, sir. Yeah, that's true. Now I'll give you few names. You can Google it yourself. There's something known as pig butchering scam. Come again, sir? Pig, pig, pig swore. Huh? Pig butchering scam. I thought me. I heard that correctly the first time, but I thought there was something wrong there because it's. <laughs> but the targets are are called pigs, and they are butchered. How they are butchered? These platforms are basically fake platforms, not the real ones, but they look very real. Victim victims are lured to invest more and more and more. One fine day, that money is gone. platform of high repute by the name coinbase victim lost over 21 million dollars through what is known as liquidity liquidity mining pool scams here and obviously one nationality was always involved and coinbase just issued one uh, when uh, queried about the same they should have one email statement saying that we take utmost care of maintaining interest of our clients that's all we protect their interests this is after what sbf went through yeah. sam bank fund freed now the other example i'll give you is There was a guy by the by the name Mustafa Gokulu, known as Mustangi. He was involved in Bitcoin money laundering of drug trafficking. He was convicted, I think, some two or three years back. Twenty-five years in prison. He didn't disclose any other name, and DA and the authorities were convinced that about the connections, but they couldn't prove it. The advertisement used to be on by the site name Local Bitcoins. Ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine worth coins, bitcoins for drug trafficking.
other example that the stink load of money that is the reason indian government is not promoting bitcoin you can trade in bitcoin in india the official one is uh, three or four companies are there and the major one is binance no in binance also binance or binance but whichever they pronounce it in usa the system was hacked 2 million bitcoins were hacked worth 580 million dollars now people say bitcoin is safe bitcoin is safe no it is not safe for all you know the you know somebody from inside the companies mr george soros two people have been caught already sir yeah, total to, to, loss to the world is almost 35 billion 35 billion two hackers were caught not hackers these are owners sir sbf is one and there is another one getting uh SBF has taken out almost ten billion dollars, eighteen billion dollars. Eighteen billion dollars. I, I was not aware of that part. Uh, uh, two hackers were also recently apprehended for bitcoins. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, I don't know whether guys have heard of the word uh, term as uh, NFT. That is non fungible tokens. Now, proceeds from the floaty NFT sales, online and metaverse casinos. That thing was caught again in drug, drug trafficking. It turned out it turned out to be another scam. And. i think uh, for meta was scammers regulators stopped such schemes and two of the casinos uh, flamingo casino club and uh, sand vegas casino club their license was taken away or the meta was uh, they were not given the permission there of there the one guy by the name anatoly a russian staying in china he was apprehended in usa 700 million dollars transaction was there for drug trafficking through bitcoins with the use of bitcoins again i am saying the word used is residing in china in brooklyn the jury said it doesn't make any different difference where you commit the crime you may be in some tropical island or you could be in china or russia as long as you hurt our financial system mm. and do a crime over here you will be given punishment and all these guys you know anatoly is a russian uh, a russian but uh, residing in prs And this information is available in open source. You can uh, check on that. I am not running any investigative journalism company or something like that. I also pick it up from the open source. That's how China operates. Now, any questions about should China be actually legally? <coughs> Termed as a rogue state or not? <coughs> you know the the, the <clears throat> interesting part about this thing is that they were also involved in 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 the Colombian cartel when back in the day. I forget the name of this big chap who was caught. I mean, I believe rats ate his dollars that he had collected. He was. the chinese lost a lot of money in that uh, he was basically a front guy for the chinese intelligence yeah now there is a very powerful politician in india no names he has got some latin american connections why he could find some source of attraction in latvia lithuania or some 
स्कैंडिनेवियन कंट्री डीपली गुड अट्रैक्शन आज दिया लटेन अमेरिका मेंट फॉर सीमेन ही नहीं इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग सर आई मीन organ harvesting uh, i think uh, is another thing venki sir i don't see your comment uh, here can you please retype and send it across i think you put in a comment but i am not able to see it here so just pull it across again please uh sir let's see what people have to say about uh, you know this thing he says perfect analysis commander sir jai hind thank you suresh Our uh, CCP have increased the defense budget to three hundred billion dollars. Should we consider that as they are planning for war or something that something like that, or is just propaganda? Your views on it? Yeah, it's a propaganda. I also heard the news. Uh, it was yesterday morning or this morning. Seven percent increase. <laughs> One side zipping is talking about <laughs> promoting the agriculture. they don't have money if you have a look at the cax index so that is a container availability index it's available on the internet you can find out you can have a look at yourself that basically talks about the container movements containers are lying empty at four major container ports in china the truck drivers they say that earlier they used to work for 24 hours and get 12 hours off as a rest period now they are working for less than 12 hours and getting 24 hours rest period here when you don't have economy how can you increase your defense budget in any case even if they increase their defense budget yeah i am telling you their military equipment is not anything great to talk about some day we'll talk about their uh, satellite navigation system in details if if they can play such a big vertical joke i would say you mean to say the americans won't be laughing at uh, laughing at them those who know the subject agar itna hi dam tha yaar wo 70 saal to kitne saal ho gaye taiwan ki baat karte hue jaake le le raha hu taiwan yaar military power tumhare mein hai nahi you only sign the vertical uh, treaty with india that no firearms to be used at the lsc they only they only signed that treaty we didn't ask for that they asked for it abhi bhi aap the dande kha ke wapas jate hain yaar apart from that uh, may i add something sir ragunandan one thing i'd like to add here is that you know almost 70% of their defense budget is used for internal security Yeah, yeah, that's right. Internal security, and that's what they are trying to do to the other countries by creating these kind of rogue, uh, playing these kind of rogue games, so the other countries spend more on their internal security. Yeah, so the, the internal security is very critical to them. So they have a lot of these cameras, facial recognition software, this, that, and this. It's a whole lot. And plus, when I also talk about internal security, it is also the internet internal security. Internet All internal that security. comes into the same gambit. Exactly. So they spend a lot of money on that as well. Only in Pakistan, hashtag pizza general. They should start a pizza foundation next called Faladi Pizza. <laughs> in any case, that's a good one, man. <laughs> that's actually a good one. Uh, Or, Rahul, I think. Or Jazba Pizza. They keep saying Jazba. Yeah, our. Yeah. Rahul Rathod, I think you're asking for Chinese Air Force. Uh, I've done some videos before here. Yeah. You can please go to the China Watch or you can go to the China Military Analysis playlist. Multiple analysis videos are there. You can have a look. And uh, yeah, Canada, Mexico, and have a good relationship with China. How much China intruded slash influence on Mexico? Oh, they have intruded a lot. Infiltrated various what we call sections, but try to understand that every country has a limit. Yeah. 
Mr. Biden's what we call son's business interest in China is well known and well published and well what we call printed in all the news media and available on the net also. But when it comes to a crosses certain limit, even Biden has made statements against China. Yeah, yeah. Each country has its own limit. मार पड़ी है ना घर पे। हाँ। तो यार उसको तो पावर में रहने का अपनी कंट्री में। And we are talking of you know good relationship with China. I had covered one pro, uh, uh, we done one program. I, I think the first program program you remember the food security. Max, maximum of the food is being the meat products are coming from South America to China. Yeah. And there are certain what you call organizations which are troublesome for India also. They are getting their finance from uh, uh, China. And if I'm not wrong, uh, Canadian government hasn't got the absolute majority. It's also, a, well, you know, uh, what you call that uh, mix-up of various parties. So each government has its limitations. But again, I said each country has a limit. That is true, sir. For some reason, the questions are not coming up here i can see it on my other screen uh i so i'll be able to read them out i don't know there's some some funny thing out. here yeah i'll i'll start reading them out here uh ragunandan asks uh, so money laundering has been taking place now with uk and hong kong and dubai safe havens like cayman island and brunei and singapore and swiss bank your views on it yeah cayman Cayman, the, the Cayman Island banks and Swiss was already, you know, not now. God knows since when, you know, they had been safe havens. Dubai, we know very well what connection is there from Pakistan, and China has has moved in in a big way in Dubai also. The money laundering is taking place, but again, as I said. As a matter of fact, not many people would believe it. You can read it on the internet. Saudi Arabia is becoming the drug, drug capital of Middle East. That's true, sir. I got Venki Saab's question. I I wonder there's something wrong in my my feed in today. I'm not able to actually get the questions. Thanks, Venki Saab, for sending it across. Guys, you can continue typing it. I've got another system set up, so I'll be able to see that. uh right here venki saab asks uh, sir it is because the west uh, is partner in crime and it stays silent despite prc's open involvement in counterfeiting of western merchandise funding nuclear components smuggling pushing nuclear and my god <laughs> so many other things and addenda yeah. is is illegal organ harvesting smuggling especially those harvested from sheep and pigs Yeah, uh, there's a particular type of fish bladder which is a delicacy in uh, yeah. China. Uh, that is uh, that comes from Latin America again, from Mexico to China. Now, that's what I, I had been saying in my entire presentation. Why China is not officially put on notice in playlist like Pakistan? Obviously, till now, most of the manufacturing was in china counterfeit was not affecting western hemisphere that much but it was through turkey so there's certain amount of you know geopolitics also where each country waits for the right time to strike back <laughs> timing most important timing keep doing it keep doing it do it more one fine day you'll find that Entire Western Europe has stood up and said China should be put in grey list, impose sanctions straight away, for some excuse or the other. That excuse may not be so much valid at that particular time, but basically they have, they want to cover up all other activities which had been troubling them. True. Classic example is Pakistan only. Look at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can it happen without the? you know uh underground 
एक्टिविटी ऑफ यूएसए और सीआईए तो ईच कंट्री वेट्स फॉर इट्स टाइम पॉलिटिक्स लाइक इन जी ट्वेंटी यू सी यू नो एवरीबडी मीट ऑल एवरीबडी विल से we condemn terrorism we all agree there should not be any money laundering drug trafficking it's a lip service here and for the news channels to repeat the same news that's all when we're talking of money laundering and this time also the uh, they made the same commitment you mean to say the foreign ministers who were present there from g20 they didn't know what china is doing everybody knows it another thing is that you know for example i'll give a normal example say pakistan is importing a steel tube a steel pipe what is the guarantee that steel tube or steel pipe of particular given specification which they have asked for is not going to be used in the nuclear plant the particular grade of steel particular what you call the size of the pipe the thickness of the what you call wall. basically they are importing us a steel pipe that is that's what the uh, bill of lading will uh, read or the invoice will say but everybody knows why they are importing it here but when they want to check, check them as general narayan said IAEA's come over there for what purpose? Everybody wait for the right time. Yeah, yeah, timing is everything, sir. The matter of fact, uh, Venki Sir has added to this uh, this thing with regards to uh, you know the, the, the organ harvesting that he mentioned. He says uh, the CSR SPR technology is being abused by Chinese biologists. They've got wild fantasies of creating hundreds of babies in the labs, and the world, especially WHO, remains muted. there is no question i have i have seen this before as well it's ridiculous this is the thing is that you know actually that field of biotech where cloning they talk of that is prohibited that is banned yeah and china hasn't got that much of knowledge about of biotech yet. if they had they wouldn't be in having a food security problem they would, would have utilized given mass of land for maximum yield they have got uh, i would say they are, they are worse than india also for that matter so sn uh, asked a question is there a possibility that some of this is covertly state sponsored in order to cripple other economies so before you say anything yes it is yes state sponsored again see i would add one thing over here when you said that da agent took 10 years the fbi fed took 15 years 10 years of tracking you know why is it so even government in usa doesn't want it to be exposed immediately true politicians or some kind of politics at the international level that game is beyond our understanding and i as i said let them do it look at pakistan if china keeps moving on this track they're going to end up the same way what pakistan is today the reason for being that you know i'm not being philosophical over here when the elite of the society which govern the entire country get used to that kind of money and comfort a stage comes when they can't do without it yeah correct so you do anything which is there in your power to keep that thing going yeah that's what what happened in pakistan and if china keeps going this way the ccp elite is going to destroy that country on their own true sir uh how can india cope up with these drugs and money laundering situations like that like what is what you've explained yeah the only way is surveillance where i'm not giving a moral lecture citizens have to involve themselves 
digitalization and surveillance that's all don't worry transaction in cash here are aajkal sabji wala auto rickshaw wala bhi ya uske piche jp laga hua hota hai don't give him cash and i believe if i'm not wrong there's a pilot project already going on in four major cities of digitization of the rupee and government is planning no printing of currency you have a certain amount in the bank use your phone or whatever equipment your machine they may give you for electronic banking if there is no currency printed how can you have money laundering it? and if you haven't realized off late you're not getting 2000 currency uh, uh, rupees bahut kam mil raha hai hmm milta hi nahi aaj ke bahut kam hai ek bar to 500 ko bhi nahi milta ya 100 ke note bahar fek deta hai na how much you can carry if you want to withdraw 5000 also true uh taliban has refused to deal with the pakistani generals and they're dealing directly in drug business uh it is not a china it is not that china hence wants to bypass pakistan and deal directly with the taliban it could be that's why no. i said what lord shield is doing in uh, pakistan there's a, there's, a, there's a very yeah. old joke you know they say that you know 70 80% of the world's opium is controlled by afghanistan afghanistan it grows in afghanistan so if you want to control china you control afghanistan Afghanistan. That's why what is happening in pa- in Pakistan. Uh, they want to basically cut off the southern route. Yeah. And something is going to happen on Iran also, and then when they decide to cut off the southern route, northern route is already cut off. Like there's too much of control and checks over there. If I may add, you know, the the guys, and this is something that you you might like to research on. the opium wars of the early you know 20th and the late 19th century the chinese know what drugs can do to a society yeah uh, the japanese rolled over them just before the second world war because of that their dynasty fell the, the british were in shanghai the uh, british kept marching through and you know they made them to sign the treaties for that matter yeah. and if somebody wants to free and now maybe china thinks that way they can control the world which is not possible yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so uh, trivia venki sir says trivia china's biggest paranoia is towards its border with russia which has its maximum deployment agreed absolutely that is sir. true because russia whatever it might be won't like to have a powerful neighbor next door and russia does not do transfer technology with china yeah it doesn't do now <laughs> they were damn pissed off when they were given su 27 flankers seven and all or and they made j11s and, yeah. and the russians were very upset so after that there was a su 34 program where the chinese had art for some 75 80 aircraft they've they given them 24 and said enough we're not giving no. you any more so that that thing got cancelled as a matter of fact and uh, the chinese also copied their one of the jet engines the rd 95 engine into the ws 13 which is being used by the pakistanis today pakistan is they are they are in lot of problems uh, with that engine and with the aircraft frame structure also true true yeah, partha i can't know. refresh the window yaar because if i do press refresh this whole stream will go off so i think i'm able to handle it thanks for the suggestion so reverse My... engineering reverse engineering is not all that you know you yeah, can never yeah. get the what the original equipment is first of all If it was that simple, Chinese would have gone ahead of Russia or USA for that matter. Long time back, sir. And jet and jet engine, what we call technology, is not that simple to get. Oh, no, Had it been so simple, India would have got it by now. Thirty years, sir. Thirty <laughs> years. Guys, I'm so sorry that I'm not able to put your names and questions on the screen for some reason. My you know computer system is hung up so i've just got my tab out where i'm reading your question from so we can you know continue i can read all your questions uh sir the chinese are buying land in the usa and europe and it is being used under or over invoice and they are investing 
in people that help in their case of money laundering hsbc credit suisse is one of such banks yeah they had been doing that but now usa is uh, uh, in many of what you call states they have yeah. said that not allowed because they're trying to bite next to the their air force stations and all and uh, slowly slowly usa is moving away the local population is not agreeing to the same indeed sir uh Venkisa says again, India is sandwiched between the Golden Crescent and the Golden Triangle. Yeah, that's a dangerous place to be. We spoke about that. We have a problem there, and as I said, the only way is digitization. Hmm. Mr. Shri no Kumar, who can see printed and as simple as that. Mr. Shri Kumar Menon says, in 2020, U.S. sanctioned China, prohibiting U.S. investors. From investing in Chinese companies, subsequently sanctions were imposed by EU and others. Do you think these sanctions have had any impact on the Chinese? So that's an official thing. Unofficially, as I said, the illegal means the money is still being trans transacted. That's that's what's called a money laundering. Not that USA or EU is not aware of it; they are very well aware of it. But as I said, they lack when the time comes. But having said that, you know the chip thing has dented China quite a bit. Yeah. The, if I may just add, sir, I mean, uh, Mr. Menon, I would like to add here is that the Chinese are like a shopkeeper with no customers today. Exactly. You know, got a lot of stock to sell, and a lot of people are looking for alternatives. For most very important things, you still have to go back to China where you need it. But then a lot of people are looking for alternatives. That is the reason the world is not acting in a very strict manner against China. Correct, sir. No, no, look at China is interlinked. Look at India. We are the pharmace pharmaceutical hub. I would say we manufacture most of the medicines. Chemicals are required from China. Yeah. Now, what you do in such a situation? You have to trade with them. You have to. No question. And uh, the last question for the evening, sir, asks if China was has built so many dams, why did they recently witness large-scale droughts? Why didn't they? Why did they recently witness large-scale droughts, sir? Suka. Yeah, I think you know General Ryan has covered the program that south to north kind of waterway. They have the dam, and uh, I spoke in one of my uh, programs also. Most of the dams are built against all the geological studies, which would have proved the dam will be more of a problem than any use. Erosion one side and siltation other side. When the siltation is taking place. There will not be any river bank. There will be plain land over there. Other side, the erosion is taking place. Also, the main thing is that the Chinese have done one very interesting thing, sir. They have polluted their environment so badly. That's right. You know, their water sources are there. There, it's reduced to literally nothing. They don't have fresh water, and they funnily, don't. yeah. Last year, what happened? I'm sure, sir, you you're aware of it. In the place that there was drought, there was sukha, there was floods. Yeah. जहाँ पर normally dry रहता है वहाँ flood था. जहाँ पर ज़्यादा पानी आना चाहिए उधर पे dry हो गया. So they, they had a huge challenge in that area. No, we don't year. know. See, uh, are the dams, the reservoirs they built, are they actually functional or not? Because nothing comes out of China. Last year, the Three Gorges almost went. So the very first year of Three Gorges Dam, they had some eighty odd cracks in the walls. Yeah, yeah. Last year, it almost went. It was yeah. just about two days rainfall left after. Otherwise, it was finished. Finished. Correct, sir. And if you remember, sir, year before last, I think two thousand nineteen, sir. There's three dams that broke in northern China somewhere. I, I forget. There was a massive flood, and they just The so dam just broke. Yeah. So cities after cities. 
nothing comes out of that country and you see wherever they have gone in south america everywhere now those countries are taking them to arbitration courts icjs yeah last time we discussed about that wherever they build the hydro project or the dams nothing is functioning properly indeed sir sir thank right. you so much this was a yeah. sorry no is it all right perfect nahi nahi please sir मैंने आई सेट के अपने कंट्री में तो ठीक बना नहीं सके और बाहर बनाने चले वो तो सर आई यू नो नाउ दैट यू स्टॉप मी यू नो आई आई शेयर दिस रिपोर्ट विद यू एंड गाइस आई 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 ट्राई एंड पुट इट आउट एज अ दिस थिंग आई रीड समवेयर एंड आई शुड बी एबल टू फाइंड इट विद अ सिंपल गूगल सर्च बीजिंग इज सिंकिंग शैन गाइस आल्सो सिंकिंग so these cities have not been built with the way the weight distribution must happen and they are sinking and they are they are slowly sinking down and this is a big challenge that the chinese are grappling with the other problem because is that because of the dams they built shanghai is sinking because there is no more siltation it was built up on the silted, silted island yeah, no more siltation is taking place there groundwater extraction has been done so much the rate in in certain areas is as high as 9 cm a year yeah jai hind to chinese construction <laughs> let g be there for the 20 years it will be good for india yeah yeah sir so this was amazing i think uh, by the end of it we can say the chinese are a rogue state indeed i think that is one conversion normally we don't have much conversion especially in this forum we don't have much conversion with the west but i think i agree with the west when they say that the chinese are uh, you know they're, they're, see, see, i'm not against any individual from china or pakistan my heart goes out to those people because the way they are being treated by their own respective governments they also humans after all but i am certainly against you ngos in india the peace nix you know to talk to pakistan talk to china are what do you talk to them mate i want to talk to us absolute nonsense there is nothing I, more recently one of the you know think tanks they call it they never discuss what china on these subjects their funding has been chopped off by the government Chop. and that Fund. funding is wide open in the in twitter so everybody knows yeah. where the money is coming from so i'm just saying so, what, so what's your that's all kiske liye yaar just for a party hard every day over over a costly single malt or uh, fine wining and dining and uh, one chauffeur driven car for you <laughs> so they start their life with a jhola chap and you know smoking a oh, 555 ganesh chap bd and after 10 years they are suddenly sitting in a chauffeur driven car ah with 50 crore horses and then and they become strategy planners policy advisors correct sir sir thank you so much as thank as always you. wonderful talking and uh, this is a great subject that you've chosen i must say this is you know we've spoken about china in many different facets within on dev talks and this is just another one such a vast country with just so much potential to for us to have conversations after conversations and we we'll keep that going thank you so much for the research and uh, the presentation sir see you next time and guys before i sign off uh, my request to all of you is please 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 do like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, you know saturday and sundays of course some of you have would have missed the old shows so please do spend time in the week and watch some amazing stuff has been done between the past two days uh, my request to all of you guys if you can please do help out the dev talks efforts with the qr code above or you can join as a member or you know send us a super sticker super chat in your chat box till next time sir and everyone else jai hind thank you good night everybody